Hi, this is Hina, the voice behind Dr. T. Before we proceed to the video, how about hitting the bell icon to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And hey, you can also check out our playlist on our channel for more awesome videos. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Got it. Assalamu alaikum. In the last video, we studied about systemic fluoride. In this video, we are going to study about the topical fluoride. So the topical fluoride can be applied in two ways. Either a professional can apply it for you and that is called the professionally administered fluoride preparation or either you can apply it yourself and that is self-applied as simple as that. So in professionally administered fluoride preparation we have first of all fluoride varnishes and there are two most commonly used varnishes like Durafat and floor protector. Now how do you apply varnish? First of all in any case we are going to do oral prophylaxis and then we'll isolate. You have to maintain a dry feel, okay? And then you start by application in the lower arch. First you'll apply in the lingual surface, then you'll apply occlusally and then buccally using a brush. And then you apply varnish on the upper arch. Now after you have applied, tell the patient to wait for 4 to 5 minutes and instruct not to drink or rinse for 1 hour and not to consume solid food until next morning. Now we have some fluoride solution and these are sodium fluoride. The concentration is 2% sodium fluoride. And how do we apply it? We apply it using the Knudsen technique. Knudsen technique. So what we're going to do here, again do oral prophylaxis, isolate and then this 2% sodium fluoride is applied using cotton applicators on all the exposed tooth surface in each quadrant. Then after you are done, instruct the patient that he should not eat for at least 30 minutes or should not drink or rinse for at least 30 minutes. So this was the first application. Then second, third and fourth application is done at weekly interval. So total we have four appointments. This was the first one and then three more weekly interval. And then what you're going to do? This entire four series of treatment, it is repeated at the age of 3, 7, 11 and 13. Means when the child is 3 years of age, call him, give him 4 appointment and do it. Then again, when he is 7, repeat the process 11 and 30. Okay. Then we have Stannous Fluoride and the concentration of Stannous Fluoride is 8% okay and we apply it using Muller's technique okay so again do oral prophylaxis then apply this freshly prepared stannous fluoride using cotton keep the teeth moist with solution for at least four minutes and you have to reapply the solution once in every 15 to 30 seconds you have to reapply every 15 to 30 seconds and it is recommended that once in a year you have to repeat this process now let us for a little fun compare the sodium fluoride and stannous fluoride and see what are the advantages and disadvantage and some other features so first of all i would say that this sodium fluoride it was applied using nuts and technique Okay, and this stannous fluoride, it was applied using Muller's technique. Alright, so this solution, it has more acceptable taste. And this has metallic taste. It will not cause gingival irritation, but it can cause gingival irritation. One disadvantage of this thing, this stannous fluoride is that you have to freshly prepare it okay and obviously in the nuts and technique you have to go for four visit but this in this case you just need to apply once in a year recommended okay also the stannous fluoride it creates more insoluble compound and that is tin fluorophosphate so this complex it is more resistant to decay all right also, the rapidity of action here is much better. So, within 30 seconds, this will act. 